Miss Jacket, why aren't you home yet? What are you going to do for dinner? I'm still at work. I'm pretty sure I told you yesterday I'm going to be coming home late today. So, what about my dinner? Hurry up and come home already. John's going to be coming home early today. He'll be cooking for you. I think he should be home soon. I see. John is cooking today. You know, I've always kept it to myself, but you should stop that kind of thing from happening. Excuse me? Making your husband cook dinner. You realize that he's not some kind of stay-at-home wife, right? You should hurry up and hurry home. That way, you can make dinner for everyone. I have to work too, though. I can't just leave work to cook. Besides, we've always both worked. Our mom is really sick often, too. So we're going to need you to make up for her, since she can't clean or cook. Is there really a point in you living with us if you don't do that? I don't live here to be your living maid. Also, the only reason that I'm at work at all is because we wanted to make our main house a duplex and we needed funds. John took out a loan with his salary, so we're paying that back with his job. Most of the regular day-to-day -day expenses are covered by my income. I think we'd be in a tough place if I didn't work. Of course. You need to work hard. You better work hard to pay for us. You're a stranger who married into the family. And we're letting you stay at our house. That's reason enough for you to be thankful for us. Well, actually, John is paying for the house mortgage, so I don't think that expression is really appropriate or even applicable to the situation at all. You're such a smart ass. You need to work hard, make money for our family, and also do all the household chores perfectly. That's your job. Stop being spoiled by John and work harder, damn it. If you don't work hard, you'll have to leave. Yeah, about work. I don't think I'll be able to work for a while. So I don't think I can cover living expenses anymore. Huh? Why not? I found out that I'm pregnant. I have a baby in my belly right now. So in a few more months, I'm going to be taking maternity leave. So my income is going to go down. We'll have to ask you to work a little bit for everyone, too. What? My own home? I'm letting some stranger live in my house? And that's your attitude? What do you mean your income is going to go down? You need to work harder. Work! You don't need kids. Go get an abortion right now. What? Are you being serious right now? Just because you're pregnant, don't assume everyone's going to be happy. You're dead wrong if you think that. If you make less money than you do now, then you'll be kicked out of this house. I don't think that that's something that you're able to decide. Just because my dad is kind, I can't let you take advantage of him any more than you already do. If you make less money, you will be chased out of this house, you understand? If you don't like that, then you need to go get rid of that thing in your stomach. I will not allow you to take off your job, missy. Imagine a wife that doesn't put any money into her husband's house. There's no reason to keep you around. You will be leaving this house. I know that you don't like me, Susan. I kind of figured that all along, but I can't believe it. This miracle of life and that's how you're going to talk about it? You've actually surprised me. That's way out of line, Missy. What are you talking about? My logic is completely flawless. I'm letting you live at our house. It's only fair for you to bring in money for our family. If you're going to be making less and putting in less money, then you don't need to give up on a child. You're the worst. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not like you at all. What do you mean? Are you trying to say something? You basically abandoned your own child. You gave your ex-husband custody of your child really fast. Then you run back into your parents' house. You realize how tough it is to raise a child? That may be so, but you neglected your own child and cheated. Then you were sued by your husband for having an affair, and now you have no money. So you come back to your parents' house, and you heard that John and I, with your parents, will be building a duplex to live together. 
and you suddenly start demanding for your own room too. But you don't pay a single penny. We had John take out a loan with his salary and you still don't bring in or put any money into the family. What do you want me to do about it? All of my money is still going to pay off damages and also paying child support. You say that you're letting me live here? That's your favorite thing to tell me, but let's be real. The person who's mooching here is you, right? We're letting you live here. I pay for daily expenses and the retirement from dad, all of that money you lost in the divorce settlement. Yeah, guess where his retirement went. We were always concerned with mom's health because she didn't feel well, so we wanted to live with her or at least close to her. Living with you though, Susan, that was never part of the plan to begin with. What the hell? I'm just staying at my parents' house. What's the big deal about that? I'll tell you what, you don't pay a single penny and you don't take care of anything around the house. You let mom do all of that, so she got even sicker than before, right? Right now, you're the one that's in charge of that. So who cares? It doesn't matter anymore. You're also using the money we put into the family account, right? What? You use mom's card, you withdraw money without telling us, right? Of course not. Stop saying things that ain't true. We already know the truth, you understand that. Everyone in the family knows. But they were all family, so I guess that they just wanted to pretend that they didn't see it. I, however, like you tell me so often, am not family. You're just some bitch who tells me to abort my child. So I don't want to get along with you at all. Please leave this house right now. Excuse me? Are you trying to chase me out? You realize that you have no right or power to do that, right? <laughs> this house is my father's house. I have a right to live here. Sorry to break it to you, but that house is actually in John's name right now. What? Are you serious? When we were taking out a loan for the house, we changed the title to John from your father. I didn't know that. But that doesn't matter. It's where I grew up, so I will not be leaving this house. Where is John anyway? And when the hell are you coming home? I'm getting really hungry. I just reached out to John a second ago. We're going to execute our plan that we have agreed on a while back. Plan? Unfortunately for you, you're going to be thrown out of this house within the week. <laughs> are you messing with me? I can't leave this house that soon. I'm pregnant now. I don't want to have any unwanted stress anymore. You dirty the house every day, and yet I'm the one cleaning up after you. If I don't clean up immediately, you're quick to complain. You even start complaining about my cooking, too. I don't want to raise my child in this sort of environment with you in it. Your room will be used as our child's room. We'll be throwing out anything that you leave behind. What are you talking about? You can talk all you want, but I have no intention of leaving. John and Dad just signed a lease to a house in your name. What? What are you talking about? You're almost 40. I think you know how to live alone. At least I would hope that you know. We've already decided on a house, so you need to pack your things and head out. I'll tell you the address later, so hurry up and get packing. Stop saying things I don't understand. Why am I having to move? I think I've already explained why we don't want you in the house. You still don't understand? Some old lady who's almost 40 and mooches off her parents' money is kind of trouble for us. You understand? What the hell is that attitude? Stop looking down on people, you idiot. I'm just being logical. You've always been complaining about me every day, but you don't need to worry about that anymore. You should be happy, honestly. You don't like the way I clean or my cooking, right? I'm a formal employee who works late every single day, full time, and I have to clean your underwear when you work about four days a week part-time, it just didn't really make sense to me. Stop acting like you're all that just because you're a formal employee. I'm not acting like I'm all that. But as Severance, I paid for all of the down payments and initial fees. So you're welcome. Please don't mess with us, including your father. We're not going to help you out anymore, so don't count on us. Also, just so you know, I'll be expecting my money to be returned when you can start making your own money. Are you seriously telling me to leave? Who's going to be paying the rent then? You will be paying the rent. I don't know why I'm explaining this to someone who's almost 40. <laughs> 
I don't want to see you anymore, so I'll be at my parents' house until you're out of the house. I don't want to be around someone who tells me that I should abort my child, so please leave by the weekend. I don't want to leave. I don't have any money. I can't survive on my own. I'll just convince Dad when he gets home. I'm not going to be leaving. I don't think you're going to be able to convince him. I told him about how you told me to abort my child, and he's not happy to hear about that. I also told John too. Neither one of them are your friend at the moment. You might even be chased out today. You won't be able to move into your new home until the weekend. So if you are chased out, maybe you should consider just camping outside. Good luck and goodbye. Here's to your real single life. After John and her dad came home, they found Susan with her eyes swollen from crying. She tried to cry her way out of this to convince them to let her stay, but the normally quiet and calm dad yelled at her like he had seen her murder someone. Susan was frozen in place. He proceeded to throw out all of her luggage outside of the house. He wasn't too happy with her. Apparently, he was also at the end of his patience with Susan's behavior. She ended up having to leave the next morning. Jackie finally came back to the house, and they continued living life quietly and peacefully. Susan had to pay for her child support and rent and just general day-to-day expenses. But she couldn't make the money, so she had been adding shifts to her part-time job and working day and night to survive. <laughs>